Good evening, everyone. My name is Peter Schroeder, and I am here with my daughter, Kimmy, who I'll introduce to you in just a moment. I am honored to share a few thoughts on why the Shawnee Foundation and Shawnee's Camp Reach for the Sky are so vitally important to so many families, including my own. Kimmy is 10 years old. Six years ago, she was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma, a very aggressive cancer of the peripheral nervous system. After her diagnosis, her, our world was turned upside down. She has undergone a plethora of various treatments, including countless rounds of high-dose chemotherapy, major surgery, stem cell transplant, radiation, immunotherapy, and so much more. But she handled it all with grace, courage, and dignity. She has done it all with a smile on her face. <laughs> And she's currently in active treatment, full-time treatment, as she continues to battle her second relapse. Kimmy has been very fortunate because the last two summers, she has attended resident oncology camp, a week-long overnight camping experience for kids with cancer that is run by the Shawnee Foundation. You may be thinking, what's so special about camp? There are hundreds of camps in San Diego. True, there are many camps, but no one offers what the Shawnee Foundation camps offer. Both times Kimmy went to camp, she was in the midst of undergoing harsh treatments. There was no way I could send her away on her own to a typical camp. One of the great benefits of the Shawnee's, excuse me, Shawnee's Camp Reach for the Sky is their close working relationships with the hematology oncology unit at Reedy's Children's Hospital and other local hospitals. At camp, they have a med shed which is staffed 24 seven by nurses from these hospitals. In addition, there is an oncologist at the camp for the entire week. They know all the kids and their respective medical histories and all the kids know them. As a parent of a cancer, of a cancer child, this is a godsend. This is the only place in the world I would feel safe and confident sending my child. Yeah. I have tremendous peace of mind knowing that she will be in great hands. I could never put a price on that. Shawnee's is truly the only camp for Kimmy. As you might imagine, having a child with cancer is financially devastating for a family. Between the staggering pile of bills and the loss of income, there is not much money left over for fun. We have not had a true vacation since Kimmy's diagnosis. The Shawnee Foundation offers their camps completely free of charge to all cancer families. For us, it provides Kimmy with a rare and wonderful opportunity to go away and experience some fun adventures. Shawnee's Camp Reach for the Sky offers another unique benefit. Being a kid with cancer can often be very isolating and stigmatizing. When out in public, strangers often look at Kimmy differently, and you can sense them thinking, what's wrong with her? At camp, Kimmy is with other kids who are exactly like her. As Kimmy says, I'm with my peeps. <laughs> They're either in treatment also, or have, been, or have been at some point. They don't think twice about a young girl with a bald head. They are all part of a very special group of warriors. At camp, they can just be kids, not kids with cancer. Lastly, I must talk about the amazing counselors. Pixar, Govna, Yoda, Haas, Chopper, I could go on and on. My apologies to those I left out. Many of the counselors are former campers themselves. Many are survivors. And nearly all of them have been touched by cancer in some way. They are the most loving, caring, genuine, 
giving, and fun group of people I have ever met. Kimmy loves and adores each and every one of them. They are friends for life. I only wish they truly understand, understood how amazing and special they really are. Kimmy and I are so blessed to have them in our lives. Cancer robs these kids of their childhood. Can't reach for the sky helps to give it back. As a camp family, I truly appreciate the wonderful generosity of every person here tonight. Please continue to support this Shawnee Foundation and all that they are doing for my daughter and her fellow and her fellow brave young warriors. Thank you. inspiration, and my hero, my beautiful and brave daughter, Kimmy. Hello, my name is Kimmy and I'm 10 years old. As my dad mentioned, I have been battling an aggressive cancer for six years. As a matter of fact, just last week was my cancerversary. I celebrated by giving out cupcakes to my nurses while I was impatient for a week getting treatment. Despite the many difficulties I must overcome, there have been many bright spots during my cancer journey. One of the brightest is being able to attend resident oncology camp run by the Shawnee Foundation. It is awesome and so much fun. Due to my cancer, so much of my time is spent with adults. My dad, nurses, and doctors. Camp Reach for the Sky gives me an amazing opportunity to hang out with the other kids for a week. I can leave the stress of treatment behind. I can do all the fun things I love to do. Swimming, archery, arts and crafts, rock climbing, singing, and dancing. Without a care in the world. I can run through the fields and feel the wind in my hip. Oops, never mind. <laughs> allows me to just be a regular kid, not a kid with cancer. All the campers can relate to what we are all going through. Over the years, I have made friends at the hospital, but it's not a great environment to spend time together. At Camp Reach for the Sky, my friends and I get to spend a whole week together without worrying about pokey, blood tests, IV poles, or chemo. We just play, laugh, and have a blast, just like kids are supposed to. It is so special to see my friends outside of a hospital setting. One of my favorite benefits of camp is being able to get away from my dad for a week. <laughs> Through all the treatment, doctor's appointment, and clinic visit, visits, we spend way too much time together. <laughs> no offense, Dad. <laughs> I'm sure he enjoyed the break, too, but definitely not as much as I do. Plus, it gives me the chance to be independent without the constant restrictions of my treatment regimen. When I go to camp, I see a lot of familiar faces. It is great that many of the nurses from Lady Children's Hospital volunteer their time at camp. They always make me feel special. I love the homesick pills they have at the med shed. It's a big jar of Skittles and M&Ms. <laughs> I make sure to visit every day. But my absolute favorite part about Shawnee Camp Reach for the Sky is the counselors. They are fun and crazy. They are all really just big kids who do so much for all of us. I love them and they have become such wonderful friends of mine. I know it will, that we will be friends for life. They all make me laugh so hard. So many of them come to visit me in the hospital as I continue on with my treatment. It is always a highlight of my week. We usually have a karaoke party in my week. <laughs> to be honest though, 
Some of them really need to work on their singing skills. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, people. <laughs> Truly, the counselors are now like family to me. Thank you for all you do. Yeah. They all have wacky nicknames, and they try to keep their real names a secret, but I figured out a few of them. Emily and Scotty. <laughs> yeah, I see you over there. They dedicate themselves to making sure we have a once-in-a-lifetime experience. We can tell how much love they have for us and for camp. Plus, they understand their special situations. Many of them are survivors, so they get it. They understand what we're going through. That means a lot to me. For example, this year I left for camp with a full head of hair. By Wednesday, it was falling out in clumps. No one freaked out. Pixar and Frenchie helped me, and so did my friends in the cabin. They had all been through it at some point. This made me feel really special that they had all rallied around me to help me through it. By that afternoon, I was rocking the bald look. <laughs> bald is beautiful. <laughs> One of the is a face painter and she painted a beautiful butterfly on my head. It was amazing. I love camps and the counselor so much that I know I want to be a counselor when I grow up. I will keep going until I get old, like Gavna. <laughs> it is a special connection that I will treasure for a lifetime. To everyone here this evening, please continue to support the Shawnee Foundation. Your continued generosity helps to provide my camp friends, the kids and the counselors, and me with an amazing, fun, crazy, and special week. It is a truly life-changing experience that will continue to provide me with lifelong memories and lifelong friends. Thank you. Thank you.